part one of The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, an old man stops a younger man who's on his way to the wedding of his family member. He's kin to the groom. When the wedding guest tries to brush past the mariner, the mariner stops him, and with his glittering eye and skinny hand, and his strange manner, he compels the wedding guest to listen to his story by beginning, There Was a Ship. As part of the crew of a ship, the mariner sets off to sea. The ship sails southward, eventually arriving in the Antarctic, where they see icebergs and are surrounded by the icy cold. The ship becomes trapped in the ice until an albatross appears. When they feed the bird, the ice holding them fast breaks apart and the helmsman steers the ship away. As they sail, the albatross follows behind, answering the calls of the mariner. The wedding guest comments on the look on the mariner's face. The mariner confesses that he shot the albatross with his crossbow, but he gives no reason for doing so. The narrator sets up the frame story as the wedding guest is stopped by the mariner. Readers are launched immediately into the mariner's story with his line of, there was a ship, offering no introduction beyond that. The natural world plays a large part in both the poem and in romanticism. The sea, the storm, and the ship's eventual arrival at the South Pole typify the grandeur of the natural world. This illustrates the sublime, considered the realm of experience beyond rational thought, which arises from the beauty and awe-inspiring phenomena of the natural world, one of the main themes of Romanticism. Coleridge took a differing view of the sublime than his contemporaries, believing that the sublime could only be found in nature, in the sky, the sea, and the desert, because of their boundlessness. The beauty of the ocean, the storm, sky, and the ice and mist are all present in the rhyme of the ancient mariner. When the mariner shoots the albatross, he commits a sin that he must serve penance for in the hope of absolution. The cycle of the mariner's penance is reminiscent of the wandering Jew narrative. A Jewish man doomed to walk the earth because he taunted Jesus on his way to the crucifixion. He cannot die until Jesus comes again, an eternal penance.